got something to tell you. Come here. We're going on a freaking toy hunt. Like you saw in the intro, we're going on a freaking toy hunt. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a toy hunt. First toy hunt in a while. Um, I tell you guys, go on a freaking toy hunt all the time, and I haven't been on one in quite some time. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to High Five. I'm not going to show you guys the whole story this time. I'm not going to show you all those pops. I don't think you guys are really into the pops. So what I'll do is I'll hit the high notes. Uh, we'll look at a lot of vintage. We'll look at some modern and stuff. Uh, probably going to be a fairly quick video. This isn't going to be too long just due to the fact I'm not going to show the whole store. So high five. Let's go in there. See if we can find some vintage. And I'll be sure to show you guys what I get as soon as we're done. All right, guys, starting off some modern here. Saw a lot of this stuff last time, but there's a flame out twin twist. Red alert. Don't have him. Not really interested in him. Don't really need him. They got death dealer. It's an old school bulls for 20 bucks, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got a lot of bath pieces also. And um, tons of DC. A lot of vintage as well. There's Forlom. Unfortunately, a lot of these don't have their weapons. There's a good looking Endor soldier. He's pretty clean. Uh, rest look to be modern. There's a prune face, also very clean. 2-1-B. The squad commander does not have his weapon, so none of them have their weapons, but still. <laughs> we got the couch from Pee Wee's Playhouse. There's a Hordak. And then I might actually get this. I've been looking for a Mimbin Stormtrooper for a while. I might actually grab him. We'll see if that happens. And then we've got a Loose Greedo. Loose Greedo is 20. Lando. A couple of Snow Troopers. There's a Shock Trooper back there as well. Snoke. And then a few other little surprises here. Nothing super great. There's a, actually there's a NECA Donatella right there. He's 18. And then we got some Transformers as well. Look to be all modern. Mostly that one's vintage. Looks like a Shark Tacon. There's a vintage uh, Springer. And then coming up, we've got a bunch of commemorative series. Uh, Transformers, tons of those. Those are really expensive. They're anywhere from 70 to $100. A lot of Beast Wars, um, $200 for that Optimus Primal, Scorponok. There's a gold label, look at that, I've got him, but there's a gold label, uh, Azrael Batman, you don't see him every day, 50 bucks for him, that's, that's a good find. And there's the Alpha Trion, and um, what's his name, yeah, that guy. <laughs> So yeah, a good amount of stuff. I also got uh, some DC down here as well. Quite a bit of DC down there. Like I said, a lot of bath pieces over there. Hammond collection as well. Everything else over here is pretty much die cast. Uh, tons of die cast, as you can see. And then let's go and look at a couple of figures over here. Do we still have some vintage masters, which I... I'm interested in but they're very high he's 40 bucks so not sure about that but they do have some superheroes as well and that sort of stuff so let's see what else we can find all right guys in the back room and uh this is all vintage so we're gonna thumb through some of this stuff see what we got here these are a little high i mentioned that last time but actually there's a few so there's a good clatu right there for 13 bucks we'll probably take him there's an Obi-Wan No Saber 20. We've got an AT, AT driver, cloud car. There's a Dengar with the gun 15. Oh boy. I think we're going to be spending some money. <laughs> a lot of things I'm looking for. Uh, Luke with the blaster. That's complete. Looks like the paint's good. Imperial Commander for 10. He does not have a gun, but still pretty good. R2. This is one of my top ones that I want right now but he's 35 I got to do some research to see if he's if that's a good deal or not I don't think it is but yeah a lot of vintage Star Wars here that I'm probably going to take a good look at uh, that we're trying really hard to get it's a Vader already got a Vader but that Klaatu definitely 15 bucks for that Klaatu 
there is a week way also so yeah tons there and then if that's not enough we've got a bunch of vintage joes as well so you've got mr outback 50 bucks joes are a little higher i've noticed that um i don't think i'm ready to get into joes as far as vintage go yet but uh still a lot of good stuff there as well uh it's gonna take us a few minutes to go through everything just because i got so much stuff back here Looks like they're still working on it from last time. But you got ATST Raider, all that Power of the Force stuff that I showed you guys last time. They're getting all that sorted out, it looks like. So that looks good. Also, some more vintage up here. Looks like some of that newer Indiana Jones stuff from uh, the last movie that was out. Indiana Jones and Getting Up the Stairs. <laughs> Probably what they should have named this last one. Um, and then we've got some modern Star Wars. I showed you guys 10 bucks for the airborne that's a great deal six bucks for him they want 45 for cody that's interesting i'm not sure why that is revan got some other power of the force carbonized mando it's commander for 15 mando's ray there's a yeah nothing really great there mando Stormtrooper, there's a car doing for 60. That's actually not too bad. I was looking at this last time, but I'm not paying 70 for that. Actually, saw somebody got that for like 22 bucks. Um, yeah, a lot of other good stuff too. That's severely yellowed, but that's five bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. Five bucks for a deluxe. Um, spin around here. They've got some Marvel, got Thor, Iron Man. All kinds of stuff and then there's of course a bunch of stuff down there too that i might thumb through a little bit and then we've got some more loose star wars here there's some star wars there more indiana jones marvel stuff i mean there's just stuff everywhere then you look at the main section here tons of stuff with NECA, sideshow vintage transformers vintage transformers oh, actually look at that they've got a uh defense or i'm not sure how much defense or is Vintage Transformers are going to be few and far between, mostly because most of them look like trash to me. <laughs> but we'll get a few here and there. I don't see any naked, uh, vintage turtles right now, but keep looking. It's a Devastator in there as well. And then more loose figures up there. All right, let's see what else. All right, guys, got some more stuff here. We got some Power Rangers, tons of those. We've got some newer... Neck, a couple of DC down there, and check that out. Forty bucks, still on card. Cards beat to hell, but there you go. Forty bucks. We've also got General Track. Forty bucks, beat to hell. Already got him. Not really needing that. And then we've got some movie turtles. That one's thirty. That's from third movie got tattoo and then they've got the panda con down there as well so prices aren't too bad on those i mean i'd like to see them a little lower just as trashed as they are but you know is what it is so you got some joes down here and then uh there's a reissue mini bot that's kind of cool kind of like that uh origins and tons of stuff guys i mean it's everywhere a bunch of Lego sets, old, older Lego sets, worth a lot of money. It is hotter than hell back here, by the way. It's like 95, and there's no air conditioning. So I'm going to make this quick. And then there's all our Power of the Force stuff again. They've got this Big Jim Sports Camper, too. I can't remember the last time I saw a Big Jim Sports Camper, but there's one right there. So, yeah, guys. I mean, like I said, a lot of good stuff here. Um, this is the main stuff we're going to look at. I already went to the store, and there's a ton of pops, but... They are getting more and more into uh, toys, which is always good to see. There's a 12-inch speeder bike up there. And a Mario Kart stomper. Creepy, creepy, creepy looking clown. I don't like being here by myself with that thing. And uh, got a ghost face. And a willy talk. Jeez, between the clown and the willy talk, I need to get the hell out of here. Man, creepy. And then actually some old school X-Men stuff down there too. And some old wrestling as well in those cases. And Batman. And then there's some vintage uh, G1 
General Lee's looked at. Look at that. Nice. So there you go, guys. That's all I'm going to show you in it for now. I'm going to make a few decisions, and then I'll get back with you in the car. All right. That's it. Done. I uh, got some stuff. Let's go over it. Uh, a good selection. Here's the deal with High Five. You're going to find a lot of good figures that are incomplete, that have great paint apps, so you're going to have to be willing to kind of put things together, which is kind of what I've resolved myself to. If I find a figure that has nearly flawless paint that's vintage, but doesn't have the weapon for seven bucks, I'm going to buy it, and then I'm going to see if I can find the weapon later on. I'm more worried about the figure itself looking clean, looking good, as opposed to it having... The blaster especially if it's a minor character you'll see what i mean by that here in a minute so let's go ahead and start out with the cheaper ones and i'll show you some of the more expensive ones i got so first of all four lom there he is zuckus as they call him on the package i mean he's nearly flawless doesn't have the gun but again like i said seven bucks so i'll find the gun probably on ebay or mercari or something like that hopefully it won't cost me an arm and a leg uh but yeah super clean looks phenomenal happy to have four lum this one I just stumbled across as I was leaving. ATST driver. Again, super clean. I mean, it's like I'm back in 1983 by looking at this one. Looks amazing. I wasn't really on the hunt for him, but I'm glad I found him. <laughs> so again, $7. So again, I'm gonna take that all day. And then lastly, this is one I'm not even worried about getting the bat and this is Admiral Akbar. I passed on him last time. He's not quite as clean, but the only other one I found here was like double the price and it was not even as clean as this one is so i definitely wanted an admiral akbar uh, a lot of this isn't really even paint apps from being played with it's from the original production so this is 1982 you can see it right on there 1982 you probably can't see it but it's there trust me so seven bucks a piece for those i could have probably gotten another five or six but i'm trying to save money for uh dallas vintage here in a couple weeks so we did that. Now the two that I found in the back room, the boiler room as I call it, because it's hotter than hell back there. This one is awesome. This is Clater, this is Nikto, Nikto Skiff Guard, complete with weapon. Very, very clean for the most part. A little bit of nickage there up on his shoulder armor, a little bit on the back, but overall very clean. Got him for $15. I love these cases too. I might actually try to find more of these cases. He's got the Star Wars in the back. It just looks awesome. He's got it up on the front. It looks really cool. I actually like this a lot, but 15 bucks for him. Definitely. Final one is Clatoo. 13 bucks. He's even more clean than Nick does. So, I mean, weapon and all, you can see the pike right there. And I noticed, now this is not to dog Cosmic, but I made some mistakes at Cosmic the other day. Uh, made some mistakes with the weak way. Uh, the weak way I found him complete with uh, perfect paint apps here for cheaper than what I paid for him with perfect paint apps and no weapon. So I might have to come back and get the weak way, take my other one and just have two. But uh, there you go. It's a vintage toy hunt. It's a vintage toy haul. We've got five figures right there, $49 out the door. So not a bad deal at all. There's my freaking toy hunt. Make sure you're going on your freaking toy hunts. Yakin' with Yukon is on tonight. Today's Sunday, but you won't see it because you already watched it. It's already been on. You already had a great time with me and Tony. So catch the next one uh, next Sunday with um, Joe and Colin from Well That Up and Figures. Check that out. We will do the next video. So so there's gonna, I'm going to tell you what the next two videos are real quick here. Next video is going to be my top 10 figures of the year so far. That's going to be all modern. Next video after that is going to be top tie vintage pickups so far from this year since we're so heavily focused on vintage this year. So those are the next two videos. So stay tuned for those. That's it. Go on your freaking toy hunts. See you guys soon. Later.